Greetings to all my dear children. As we all know that we are facing at this time a severe pandemic of COVID-19, that is coronavirus, not only in our country, not only in our country, throughout the world, throughout the globe. So at this time, the study of billions of children is getting affected. So as a teacher, so it's our prime duty to avoid the waste of your time. So that's why, that's why I'm going to post some informative chemistry lectures on YouTube. Now, students in chemistry, that is in class plus two, the first point is you will always follow NCRT books. This is the first point, each and every line, you will understand from NCRT books. You will not purchase any other book except NCRT. Now, in the NCRT book, there, is, there are two parts, book one and book two. So today I'm going to start with NCRT part one. Now in this, there is physical chemistry, physical chemistry, inorganic chemistry. And in NCRT part two, carrying organic chemistry and some general chemistry. So let us start with the physical chemistry that is unit one today. So what you will do now, kindly open your copies along with my lecture and whatever I will discuss on the blackboard, each and every point write, note it on your notebook. So my first chapter is Unit 1, Solution. This is the first chapter of chemistry of class plus 2, Solution. Solution. In the lower classes, you all have studied what is a solution. Note down along with me. Solution is a homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture of two or more than two components. Components. So it's a homogeneous mixture. And I think you know, you have studied in class door classes, that's what is homogeneous. Homogeneous is when there is a one face visible. One face visible. It is homogeneous. You take water, dissolve salt in it, salt will get dissolved in it, it is homogeneous. You take another beaker, add sand in it, sand will settle down. It is not homogeneous, it is heterogeneous. So in this solution, there is a salt in water, it is a homogeneous. Because the particles of the salt are not visible through naked eyes, even through the high power microscope. So this is the reason it is a true solution. It is a true solution, true. So let us start with this type of solution where there is only one face visible. So many examples, salt in water, sugar in water. So this means, I think you have clarified the concept homogeneous. Understand? Homogeneous, once again, one face, homo means one, genius means face. One face visible, sand in water, two face visible, sand visible, water visible. So let us delete this because it is a heterogeneous. Come to the homogeneous solution. Now homogeneous mixture of two. When there is a two component, it's a binary solution. Binary. When there is a three components, it's a ternary solution. T-E-R-N-A-R-Y. When it is four components, it's a quaternary solution. So in the CDSC syllabus, there is only binary solution. So let us start working on it, binary solution. But even then, you must know what is a ternary, what is a quaternary solution. Now, ternary solution is a homogeneous mixture of three components. Quaternary is a homogeneous mixture of four components and so on. So let us start with the chapter solution, binary solutions. I think if I ask you one question, you can easily give me the answer now. My first question is what is homogeneous? 
I know you know what is homogeneous. What is homogeneous? There is one face visible. Now I ask you second question. What is binary? I think you can easily give me the answer. Binary means two components. There are so many examples. If I ask you what are the examples of the binary solution, you can easily give me the example. Salt in water, sugar in water, alcohol in water. They are all binary. So many examples. I think uh, now the concept is clear. It is a physical chemistry going on. It's a unit one, NCRT part one. So whatever I will tell you, you open NCRT book. You go the NCRT link published given by the CBSC. Open the NCRT. Download those books. Open the chapter solution. Uh, open the page number one and uh, start uh, studying my lectures along with NCRT. So when you want to study solution chapter along with my notes, uh, keep NCRT in front of you. When you will uh, my notes and NCRT books. When two when the two things will mix then you will 100% shine in future. You will become a master of chemistry, my notes and chemistry NCRT books. Now, let us start the first topic, types of solutions. Type of solutions. Let us start types of solutions. So, please write along with me, solute, solvent and solution. When solute plus solvent is equal to solution. Now the question is how will you recognize what is solute and what is solvent? Very easy. The solvent is that which is an excess. If I say sugar in water, sugar in small quantity, water is in large quantity. Sugar is in small quantity. So whenever anything is in small quantity, that is a solute. Understand all this. So solute in solvent make a solution. So now I am taking, what you will write? You will write 1, 2, 3, write solid, liquid, gas, write solid, 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 write solid, liquid, gas, solid, solid, solid. Three times you write, again write 4, 5, 6, solid, liquid, gas, now write liquid, liquid, liquid and 7, 8, 9, Write solid, liquid gas. Now write gas, gas, gas. This means we have nine types of solution. Solid in, solid, liquid in, solid, gas in, solid. In solid means they are solid solutions. So first three are the solid solution. Four, five, six. Solid in liquid, liquid in liquid, gas in liquid. These four, five, six where liquid component is an excess. They are liquid solutions. Solid in gas, liquid in gas, gas in gas. They are called gases solutions. So this means there are three types of solution. Solid, liquid and gas. Again repeat with me. Solid, liquid, gas. Solid, solid, solid. Solid, liquid, gas. Liquid, liquid, liquid. Same. Solid, liquid, left. So gas, gas, gas. Let us start with examples. General example you may think over. Solid in solid is the best example is alloy. Alloy. Our full technology is based upon alloy. Our aeroplane is made up of alloys. Solid in solid. Very strong alloys. Now coming to the liquid in solid. Liquid in solid. You must have seen in the moist air. When there is a rainy season in July, August, your salt get hydrated. Hydrated salt. Your salt get wet. Hydrated salt. Liquid in solid. Now is gas in solid. Gas in solid is when the mineral is heated, the gas come out. You heat a marble, the gas come out. Dissolved gases in minerals. Dissolved gases in minerals. Solid in solid. Such a strong alloy, full technology is based upon alloys. Liquid in solid, your kitchen salt get moist in rainy season. Gas in solid, dissolved gases in minerals. When you heat the minerals, a gas come out. Next is solid in liquid. Solid in liquid is very much common in the kitchen. That is salt in water, sugar in water, 
there are so many examples salt in water sugar in water it's a very common example liquid and liquid is again very common example it is alcohol in water it's very common alcohol in water so i'm giving you very very simple examples very simple examples so in ncert books there are little bit complicated examples are given so you may even learn those examples but uh, for some of the students can learn these is a very simple have written uh, now is gas in liquid gas in liquid is very common among the youngsters gas in liquid is a soda water bottles carbon dioxide gas your coca cola your beer champions soda water bottles solid in gas solid in gas is when this is iodine when sublimating air iodine solid in air naphthalene balls that we put in winter season when the winter season get off your mother put naphthalene balls in the that is in the winter clothes naphthalene air directly sublimate to gas next is liquid in gas liquid in gas liquid in gas is again very common in the foggy time in morning time is it fog it is your fog it's a mist this is your liquid in gas fog mist liquid in gas uh, there's winter season early morning gas in gas is a very common and that is air 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 is a homogeneous mixture of gas and gas so these are the nine examples of the solutions let us repeat within one minute what i taught i taught the chapter solution just started the chapter solution this is the first chapter of the physical chemistry and crt part 1 again i am repeating only follow these notes very simple notes and follow ncert books only keep these notes that you prepare by your own hands on your notebooks by your own hand by in your notebooks not to copy from others when you will make the notes by your own hands it will at once directly go to your brain right so put ncert along with it now i'm asking three four questions uh, introspect yourself uh, whether you know the answer of these question or not my first question is what is a solution i think you have introspect to yourself what is a solution solution is a homogeneous mixture what how many types of solutions there are nine types of solution so liquid and liquid alcohol in water gas and liquid gas and liquid now thought what is a gas in liquid solid and liquid introspect learn what i have taught you so what is a binary solution what is a ternary solution in your syllabus is only binary solution i think this is very simple portion we have completed this is let us start uh, with another topic this is the introduction of the chapter now the topic first main topic how to measure the concentration of the solution now concentration of the solution concentration of the solution is measured in a terms of molarity again you have listened about these terms in class plus 1 but in class plus 1 you are not so mature that these terms get directly in your brain go directly into your brain now this now this time you are getting mature now within minutes these terms will go into your brain molarity underline r l molarity 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 is capital m molarity is small letter m third is normality this term is not in cbse syllabus make it a star so after this completion of ncert complete book so i will take those terms which are just little of high level normality term make a star fourth is mole fraction mole fraction fifth is ppm ppm there are so many other terms percentage mass fraction but remember in cbse molarity molarity and mole fraction ppm these four terms questions always comes from these four terms so not to go beyond it if you want to go beyond it that means please prepare those terms later on first go the basic terms these four are the basic terms so my uh, now i'm taking the first is molarity 
So what is molarity? Molarity is the number of moles of solute that how many solute moles you have dissolved in one liter solution. Molarity. So molarity is the number of moles of solute in one liter solution. Right solution. It is must right solution and kindly underline, double underline this word. Why? Because what is molarity? Molarity is represented by small letter m. It is the number of moles of solute but dissolved in 1 kilogram of solvent. So it is a solvent. Underline it. If you have another pen, you please underline by another pen. Molarity is measured in solution and molarity is measured in solvent. It is measured in volume. It is measured in 1 kilogram. Whatever the marking I am giving, same marking you copy paste from me on your notebooks. There are two differences, 1 liter volume, 1 kilogram mass. This is your solution written, this is solvent. I think you know what is the difference between solution and solvent. Do you know? Solvent. Introspect, what is a solvent? Access part. What is a solution? A mixture of solute and solvent. So, first of all, I'm taking these two terms, molarity capital M, molarity small letter M. Uh, that is your number of moles of solute, number of moles of solute is common. Now, make it little simple, write it simple N, simple N. N for number of moles of solute, write here N, just N, it's number of moles of solute. Whenever you want to calculate number of moles of solute, you just attempt small m by capital M. This is a very simple way. What is a small m? It's a mass of any substance. But it's a capital M. Capital M is a molecular mass. It is an atomic mass. It should, you will calculate this by periodic table help only. So n is a small mass, mass of any substance. Capital M is a molecular mass. It is a real mass, it is a true mass. So this is the difference between molarity and molarity. Now let us start. The third is, third term is, third is mole fraction. Mole fraction. Alright, mole fraction is represented by x. X it is. Now what is mole fraction? If you want to calculate the mole fraction of A, you will calculate by Writing number of moles of solute here divided by total solute present in the solution. Maybe your solution is ternary, then Na plus Nb plus Nc plus Nd, but surely only two components will be given, so you may write so on here. If you want to calculate the whole fraction of the other component B, you will put Nb here and here total moles Na plus Nb plus so on. So to save the time, what you will do? Xa plus Xb is equal to 1. So after calculating Xa, calculate Xb is equal to 1 minus Xa, not applying this formula. Go, sim go in a simple way. First calculate Xa, then calculate Xb, which is equal to 1 minus Xa. Because Xa plus Xb is equal to this. So remember students, uh, Last year, in previous year, there was one question. It's the first question of CBSE. You please write down the first question of CBSE for the previous year exams. What is the sum of SUM of the mole fraction of the three component ABC? What is the sum of the mole fraction of the three components ABC? I think you know the answer. My students are very brilliant. XA plus XB plus xc is equal to 1. So answer is unity. This was the first question previously asked by CBSC. So this is your mole fraction. I think it is clear, mole fraction. Let us move to the fourth important part that is PPM. PPM. PPM is a new term for you. Right, its abbreviation writes parts per million. Its abbreviation. Parts per million. 
Now what is this? This term is largely used where component is in excess. That is PPM, a term is used to measure the pollutants in air. How much pollutants in air? How much pollutant in the sea water? How much salt in the sea water? PPM term is used. What is PPM? It is your mass of solute by mass of solution simple multiply by 10 raised to power 6. And what is the definition of this statement? So it is a one part of solute, just one part, think over it. One part of solute present in million part of sample. Sample means solution. Thus think it. PPM term is used, this is the reason. This term is used to measure the quantity of chlorine in the drinking water by municipal committee. This term is used to measure the quantity of pollutants in the air. So parts per million, it's one part of the solute per million part of the sample. In calculation, very simple, you write mass of solute, mass of solution into 10 raised to power 6. So these four terms, I think it's clear. Now I'm giving you just little synopsis of these four terms. Formulas, write the formulas. When there is a molarity, so molarity is equal to N by volume of solution. 100% it is in liter. It is in liter. N for number of moles of solution. Little expand it. N is small n by capital N. Write A, write A. And mention A is solute. Now volume. Mostly in the numericals, the volume is given in, uh, uh, that is uh, in milliliter. So what you will do? You will write your thousand permanently and write your volume of solution. Surely it will be in milliliter. If it is in milliliter, you apply this. There are two formulas. It is little bit compact formula, little bit expanded formula. Uh, now, if this is first order first, if molarity comes, same n divided by just little bit difference, mass, mass of solvent. Mass of solvent. Mass of solvent must be in kilogram. Kilogram, right down, must be in kilogram. Now, you can expand it like this. It is small ma into 1000 by capital M A same just here this difference it's a mass of solvent in gram because in numericals most of the masses are given in gram so I make this formula so molarity is equal to small m A into 1000 by capital M A into volume of the solution milliliter molarity is small m A into 1000 by capital M into mass of solvent in grams. Now this is about molarity and molality. And about mole fraction and about PPM. These two formulas I have already given to you. This means I think these to measure the concentration of the solution. Four formulas are clear. Now there is one question. You please write one question. If I give you 1M and 1M. 1M and 1M, write on 1M, capital 1M, small. But first write on the question 1 is, which is more concentrated? 1M solution is concentrated or 1M solution is concentrated? So let us write the answers. Before writing the answer, understand deeply what is 1M and what is 1M difference, which is more concentrated. I think you know what is difference 1M, 1M. In 1M, it's a moles, it's a number of moles of solute in one liter solution, right? It is, it is always find out in one liter solution, market solution, solution. But what is molarity? It is number of moles of the solute present in one kilogram of solvent. So very clear concept. 
थाउजेंड ग्राम सॉल्वेंट एग्जैक्ट थाउजेंड ग्राम सॉल्वेंट इट है थाउजेंड ग्राम सॉल्वेंट एंड वट इट है सोल्यूशन इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ सोल्यूट एंड सॉल्वेंट सो फ्रॉम दिस थाउजेंड पार्ट सम ऑफ द वॉल्यूम इज टेकन बाय द सोल्यूट सो वट अबाउट द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द सॉल्वेंट it will not know with 1000 it will be less than 1000 here it is less than 1000 i think you understand it is exactly 1000 gram solvent you may write aqueous solution i'm talking about aqueous solution aqueous means water 1000 gram water it has and it has less than 1000 gram water it has 1000 gram water it has less than 1000 gram water that is less water it is more concentrated so it's a dilute i think you understand the concept which is more concentrated which has little less water that is this this is concentrated and this is dilute so write down my question i think question is clear which is more concentrated out of 1 m and 1 m where there is a more water is dilute where there is a less water is concentrated 1 m molarity 1 m molarity molarity is measured in 1 liter solution molarity is measured in 1 kg of solvent 1 kg of solvent means 1000 g solvent 1000 g water exact 1000 g water but here it is just 1000 solution and from 1000 ml solution some volume is of solute and rest is of solvent so less than 1000 so my right now my second question after that all the Uh, all this uh, the topics that we will take after that it will be numerical ability type now my last question is now your next question out of molarity and molarity which term is liked by our scientist our scientist prefer to do calculations by this term or by this term write down the question out of molarity and molarity which term is accepted by the scientist to do the calculations answer no before writing again answer first understand the answer after that you can write within second molarity molarity so many times i have given the answer molarity is always calculated in volume of solution and molarity is calculated in the mass of solvent and we all know when the temperature changes volume changes charles law volume temperature so when the temperature will change volume will change then the volume will change molarity will change then why we accept molarity we will not accept molarity temperature has no effect on the mass so we will accept this term i think it's very clear which term is loved by scientist liked by scientist it is molarity because molarity is in mass of solvent and temperature has no effect on the mass with that you have completed uh, my first lecture next uh, from tomorrow onward i am going to uh, start with the numerical portion but uh, Uh, this is the my uh, today look at this you can solve the numericals if you if you have not ncrd books in your hands so go cbsc sites download the ncrd chemistry books today onward and open the ncrd part 1 read my all notes along with your ncrd where the numerical portion starts stop there we will take tomorrow thanks so much